sa pambansang libangan ng bayan Laro'y sinasa puso at inaaliwan Na para bang digmaan ang laban Man Mabuhay Pilipinas! Ito po ang PBA Sunday sa inyong paborito liga, ang PBA. We're here at the Big Dome. First game ng ating doubleheader. Nagahanda na si Greg Slaughter, si Teniente L8 Tenorio andyan na. They're gonna go up against Stanley Pringle and the rest of the Global Port Batang Pier, Barangay Ginebra and Global Port. They wanna stop the slumps. Dahil itong dalawang kabunan na ito, magkasunod na talo. Tigalawang talo, gusto nilang bawi na yan. They wanna get back on the winning track. Ako po si Charlie Kuna together with me, Coach Ryan Gregorio. Ano kailangan gawin ng dalawang kumpunan nito to get back on that uh, winning uh, way? Well, uh, for one, of course, napaka-importanting laban para rito sa magkabil ng kumpunan. Para si Ginebra, they're still uh, on site dun sa top two uh, semifinalists natin as we take a look at the team standings. Alaska and San Miguel still lording it over with 8-1. But for Barangay Ginebra, if they win their last three games, they still have a good shot at ending uh, at our top of the list and effectively that, that uh, automatic semifinal slot. While for Global Port, this is actually their first time that they're in past the elimination round. At kailangan manalo at makabalik rin sila dito sa laban natin na ito. We look at Barangay Ginebra, they're at fifth place right now. Pero may chance pa sila makapasok sa semis. They have to start winning the rest of their ball games, beginning with the one today. That is correct. And uh, of course, the last two games, Ginebra dropped against uh, San Miguel by two points and against Meralpo by, by ten points. So they were actually really, really good in their first six games, ending at five and one. But unfortunately, in the last two, they're zero and two. Sa panig naman ng Global Port, Batang Pier, you know, they're a bit lower in the standings. No chance for a semifinal slot. Pero gusto naman nilang umabot dun sa... 3, 4, 5, and 6 para naman sila ang twice to beat in the next round. Nabanggit nga natin, pasok na itong uh, Global Port doon sa ating quarterfinals. But uh, the 3, 4, 5, and 6 teams, may chances sila na twice to beat advantage against the 7, 8, and 9, and 10. Good thing for Global Port, wala na sila sa 11, wala na sila sa 10. Umaasa sila na manalo para maganda yung positioning nila sa ating uh, playoffs. So talagang placing ang hinahabol itong dalawang kumpana na ito. And you know, the first step towards that direction of whatever aim they want to achieve begins right this afternoon here at the Big Dome. Ang ating starters on the floor right now. Para sa mga bata ni uh, Coach uh, Eric Gonzalez ng Global Port. It's Stanley Pringle, Alex Kapagnod in the backcourt, Kelly Nabong in the middle, Mark Isip, Keith Jensen ang nasa uh, forwards naman. For Barangay Ginebra, Jeff Carriazos boys, it's L.A. Tenorio and Joseph Yeo in the backcourt. Billy Mama in the middle, tapos Mac Mac Barakael and Japet Aguilar ang kanilang forwards. Red shirts ang Ginebra, white shirts naman with green trimming. Ang Global Port, Batang Pier, and we're just about underway here at the Smart Arneta Coliseum. First possession goes to the Jin Kings. Jin Kings, you know, Coach Ryan, when you look at them, you see Joseph Yo getting inside but missing the point blank uh, basket. You look at Parangay Nembra, that lineup is very potent. Napakalakam talaga, and you expect them to win almost every ball game. Such high expectations, but they have not been able to deliver, especially in the past. Especially with their 5 1 start. But the key really is their defense. If you begin to question, where's the defense in Nebra? Because in the games that they won, they won the opponents which is seven to three and a half points per ball game. But in the three games that they dropped, they allowed the opponents to score 95. So that's over 20 points differential. Defense really must be solid here for an ever against the Big Point. You're talking about defense on the part of the Red Shirts. But I'm going to take that three times. Hits it to give the lead to his team three to two. And lalaki nga ng mga players ng Barangay Ginebra. So the interior defense should be sound. Are you questioning the perimeter defense of Barangay Ginebra? Let's see what they do in this ball game. Tama yun. Here's a kick to the side. Ang Pringle guftong bawiin ang tres. Shot goes out and Japet skies high for the rebound. Naagaw nga lang ng former Barangay Ginebra player na si Keith Jensen. Kabagnot. Second basket of the game para kay Alex. He's got four. You, you've talked about the inability of Ginebra to make the defensive stops, especially in the games that they've dropped. But if there is also one uh, thing that they must improve on, it's really taking care of the leather. They're averaging 17 turnovers per ball game in the last two possessions. 
dalawang turnovers na magkasunod. They're actually leading the league in most turnovers. Tama yun. And on that play, they tried to make a short pass inside. The two big guys wanted to hook up. And uh, that was uh, mishandled on the pass. So itong global court, lamang ng isa. Gustong dagdagan niya here in the early going. Smart Isip, after that perimeter jumper, and able to convert on that play. And here come the Barangay Hinebra San Miguel players, Joseph Yo, may tanga ng bola. Ganap ng kakampi, goes to Japan. 14 seconds, shot clock. And look at that defense. Forcing Joseph Yo into a traveling violation. Third turnovers in the last three possessions for Hinebra. A b uh, bad uh, indicator para sa kadalang kupunan. As we take a look at the interim head coach of uh, Global Port, na si Eric Gonzalez. I still see Coach Pido there a little more relaxed because he has a different function right now. He will not call the shots actively. He will now be the consultant of uh, Global Port. That's really strange. We don't play in Global Port. Diba? Pagpunta mo sa bench, pwede dire-diretso ko yung Coach Pido Harenzo dahil natin yung instructions niya. Hindi na pala si Eric Gonzalez yung ngayong pupunta. Medyo nakakagulat rin yung decision ng uh, Global Port na yun dahil uh, bumalasa sila. Again, pang up na turnover na sunod-sunod. L.A. Tenorio uh, actually leads this team in most turnovers with three turnovers per ball game. Balik tayo sa Global Court. 4-5 naman sila. Nakapasok nila sa quarterfinals pero konting balasa para rito kay coach uh, kay uh, Global Court. Hook shot semi. Ito si uh, Mark Isip. Second miss from the field from the former FU Tamarao. The score has been 4-3 for a couple of minutes here in the first quarter. Nine minutes and two seconds remaining. We've basically just begun on this Super Bowl Sunday. And it's an only Muntik that never won the ball. was able to regain control. Pringle watching him like a hawk. Fast goes to Billy Mama. That jumper is out of line. And Kabaknot goes ahead to Stanley Pringle. Half Nabong on the other side. Spots him underneath for the two. This guy is actually uh, talented. It's si Kelly Nabong. He can play tough defense and he's quick for his size. Uh, bad transition defense there for him. When you spoke, spoke about Kelly Nabong you know, early in his career, his rookie year, parang he was a bit of a hothead. Yes. He reacts always to balls, to the physical play. But has been able to control himself and is now a steady contributor as Tenorio hits an outside shot to tie it up at six. Kabagnot goes to Sumagot. That's an air ball from Alex Kabagnot. But it's good to see L.A. Tenorio a little more offensive-minded in this game. Here's a pass ahead a while ago. Pringle goes over to Nabong underneath. Pass break at inside in a smart row. Tomorrow's internet. On the curl. Barakayal in the lane. Mga limang talbog. Tapos luwabas ang bola. Billy Mama tries to save it. He's going to pick it up. White search get that possession. Pringle nagmamadali. He will challenge Tenorio's defense. Going to the right. Shooting off the glass. Stanley Pringle. Yeah, there's a reason why he's the number one pick in this year's uh, annual draft. He's really a good player. One of the best probably right now in spite of his uh, young years in the PBA in uh, finishing fast break situations. Open, open situation, Stanley Pringle. I'm not saying he's bad in the half court offense, but it turns him on. Yeah, you know, when he's in the half court offense, he's going to kick out and they go inside to Isip. Let's see what he can do. Throws it away, Tenorio gets it in the passing lane. Up ahead to you, Angan Tanaman of Pasa, he looked at the Ninja. He had to be creative there because Nabong tried to block his shot. He hung in the air for a while. That's, those are the moves that the Ninja can do. Seven minute mark of the first quarter. A block is score. Eight to piece. Kabakot just took Biak in there. And I'm able to do that. And here they come once again. The Norio leading charge. Telling the other guys, come along with me. He goes around, finds himself open, flips it up to go, Barakael throws it against his uh, co-former FEU Tamarao, Mark Isip. Sayang yun, uh, ganda sana ng uh, stop ng uh, Global Port, pero hindi nila nakuha yung rebound. There's a thunder drive by Joseph Yo, hindi sa atin ng photon. Power your business. Barangay Hinebra wants to take that lead. LA threw it up, hit the deck, at may foul na tatawagin kontra sa Global Port. Referee Edward Aquino, who's calling this game together with Noy Guevara and Ronnie Ibai. All that foul and two free throws para kay L.A. Tenorio. We have to talk about L.A. Tenorio, we talk about Barangay Hineba. He's their floor general, he's their leader, but the statistics have dipped so far this conference. And pati na rin siya inamin niya, something's wrong, I'm not in my right element. 
and you know they're waiting when's he gonna get there he has taken full responsibility because of the inconsistent pace of Inebra especially in the last two games but today is uh, a bit different he's looking for your shots more I thought he must take his shots more dahil naninibago siya sa panibagong role niya and uh, career lows in a lot of percentages for uh, LA and one out of two lang kanya ipasap doon sa free throw trip na yun Jensen the quick release top of the key Jensen. this guy has a sweet shooting stroke medyo irregular dahil parang behind the head yung bato niya but he likes to hit those outside shots he can actually create a lot of mismatches he's got a body for a four man can play three he's got range he's a very good four space of course na naman a turnover coach itong na global court tumatakbo na naman sila Marquise makes a quick move Jensen out to Pringle and everybody's touching that ball tinan natin kung bang kompleto ni Alex na but not short on the jumper Pace, it's a bit of 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 a